My name is Mateja Kračun and I represent Slovenia. We all know that our uh, job is not without any challenges. And I am convinced that all the women uh, diplomats, not only ambassadors, have faced challenges uh, during their work uh, only because they were women. However, I would prefer to focus on uh, positive achievements. So last year, I think the extremely positive uh, day uh, for me was the day when I learned uh, that after my government um, proposed me as uh, nominated me as uh, ambassador of Slovenia to your beautiful country I received uh, agreement from Brazilian side and this was also the day of uh, birthday of my son so we had two, uh, two reasons to celebrate on that weekend. It's a firm belief of Slovenia that uh, women uh, are uh, important policy makers, whether be it uh, diplomacy or any other topic uh, in politics. So, uh, with our new minister, uh, who started uh, to work uh, in June of 2022, Slovenia joined the, um, the group of countries uh, that are um, uh, promoting uh, feminist foreign policy. And to be honest, Slovenia has a huge amount of uh, women uh, represented in diplomacy. There are 55% of uh, female diplomats working at the ministry and representations abroad. And uh, we have even uh, 50 or more than 50% of uh, leadership uh, of the ministry. There are 43% uh, percent of diplomats, uh, women at the moment, and the number is rising every year. Uh, well, a diplomat has to be somebody who is very flexible, very adaptable, and uh, also a little bit adventurous. Uh, and maybe an advice for uh, girls who are joining diplomacy. Uh, it is hard, I will not say that it's not. It is a bit harder as uh, for our male uh, colleagues, but a woman does not have to choose between uh, being a diplomat and having a family. It can be done, but it takes maybe a bit more energy and effort to be um, good at both. It's so hard to find one word, but I really uh, like the word that uh, women uh, that are very public about uh, the role of women um, in Brazil use, uh, poderosa. <laughs>